Hello, I'm Jeswin Jokes. I'm a final year computer engineering undergraduate, graduating in academic year 2022. Today, I will be presenting you my final year project titled The Analysis of PXO Software and Development of Drone Applications. My supervisor is Prof. Chian Kemal. Today, we will be covering the following. I will first provide a brief introduction about my final year project. Then, we shall go into the background for the various submodules involved. I will also be providing a demo for each submodule. In recent years, there has been an increased adoption of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones by consumers. These drones have been used for a multitude of purposes, from food delivery systems to even aerial photography. In this report, we shall focus solely on the PX4 software developed by Autorion. This PX4 software is an open source software that allows us to control the entire flight stack. First, in this project, we shall create a software analysis report that covers all the major concepts and the setup needed to work with this software. This helps to bridge the learning gap for beginners as well as enthusiasts while getting used to this software. Module 1 will deal with the control of drones during flight against external factors. These external factors may be wind and other temperature or climate changes. Module 2 will cover the use and integration of new technologies such as object detections into the drone system. Module 3 will explore the development of a drone platform that acts as a centralized log file manager and provides also other essential functionalities. Module 1. Drone Stabilization to Environmental Changes Using PX4 In this module, our main objective is to explore and improve UAV stabilization algorithms, but we will be focusing on improve, improvement of such stabilization algorithms using the PX4 Autopilot software. Here, we also make use of the Mav SDK Python library to write Python code that can connect with the PX4 backend software and also to develop the control code for software-based stabilization. We will be writing the algorithm in Python as well. The JMAP simulator will be used for testing and flying a simulated drone. By using a simulated drone, we shall prevent any accidents and can provide us with a safe environment for testing dangerous and experimental code. Now, we will look at the demo for this module. This is module one, and in module one, we shall deal with the wind stabilization of simulated drone against external wind conditions. We shall first enter simulated wind conditions into the Pygame interface. This is done by using the keypad to enter wind times. After this is done, we shall, the drone shall immediately compute these values and work in a manner to negate the effect of these wind conditions. That is, if there's a wind blowing from the east, the drone will move towards the west. And if there's a drone wind moving towards from the west, it will move towards the east. And the drone will finally land once this is completed. Module 2. Development of an object detection and tracking system for autonomous drone control. In this module, the objective and focus would be to create a software application that can control a multi-rotor UAV or drone using object tracking and detection algorithms. These algorithms will be also integrated into the existing px soft eco ecosystem. The OpenCV software enables us to build such an object tracker for our simulated drone. Since the drone that we are working on is a simulated one, we can also leverage the computer's webcam to identify and track an object. The drone control code is again written using Mav SDK Python and the Mavlink protocol is used for communication between the various subsystems. The testing is also done again using the PX4 SITL, that is a software in the loop simulator, in this case the JMAP simulator. Now we will look at the demo for this module. Module 3, the Automatic Flight Log Management and Drone Control Platform. The objective and focus of this module would be to create an autonomous conversion tool that can convert the flight logs into human-readable format and also store them on a cloud database, thereby providing us with a better system for management of these records. The cloud database that we will be used for uploading these log files will be the Firebase database. We have hence developed a drone platform that provides users with an interface to these stored log files and also a plethora of other features that can be useful for drone pilots for their flight-related tasks. Now, we shall see a demo about this website. This is the drone platform for Module 3. We are now at the entry to the website in the dashboard page. 
on the top, we can see information about the drone pilot, the drone type, and as the battery available on the drone, as well as the drone's current flight altitude. We can also see the weather information and the wind speed information, which are very important to determine the current flying conditions. We also have information such as the pilot details, which shows the pilot's name, role, as well as the total flights the pilot has flown. We can also see details about the drone, such as its model and registration number. The information provided on this page is very useful for a drone pilot to determine his flying conditions and also gain information about the drone. Now, we move on to the log manager. The log file manager is an interface that helps us to connect to these log files that are converted into human readable format and stored on the Firebase database. Here, we can see that the files are stored and grouped by days. We can sort by a day, one day, and we can view the files inside the folder. Each of these files correspond to, corresponds to the log files for a particular flight, and we can see that these information in a human readable form. We can see that each column represents an attribute that is found in the ulog file. Similarly, we can store for multiple days, as well as we have the add file option that allows us to manually upload a file to the database. Finally, we have the fly zone map. This is the no-fly zone map. The no-fly zone map contains a map of areas where the user and the drone pilot is not permitted to fly. This is a very important feature that is essential for any aspiring drone pilot. Also, the data provided to this map is by the AirMap API, which is the most accurate uh, drone no-fly zone map provider. Future work. Hence, in this final year project, we have seen the creation of three modules that revolve around the px software and also tackles various challenges that are faced in the unmanned aviation industry. We have also created a software report that is based on the px documentation and which provides a concise report of the various high-level concepts and also the setup needed to use this software for development purposes. We can, one of the improvements that we can use for the first module is that we can improve the hardware and we can also employ deep learning methods that can help in stabilization. For module two, which deals with the object tracker and detector, we can improve the computer vision techniques that we have used, and we can also leverage mul by using multi-layer neural networks that can help improve this tracking system. And finally, for the drone platform, the drone platform provides us with a limitless possibilities for customization. We can create a flight ro roster system and also adapt this for classroom use. With the, with the increase in the number of adoption for by educational institutions of this software, we can develop labs around, that revolve around this PXO software, and such a website would be a great platform for students to explore and learn from. Thank you.